Yeah. Um, and then... I, I do like that we at least got to fight every organization member. You did get to fight them, but I just was disappointed because they just had so little health. Yeah. And like I massacred them in a couple hits. Well, that, that's because you were playing not on critical. Because critical didn't exist at the time. I, I know. On, I was playing on proud. <laughs> yeah, and I was also playing on proud. Uh, and I just slaughtered them. Yeah, but eh, it, yeah, I slaughtered them too. In critical mode, I at least died during those fights. The, the only time I died was at least in a like boss fight. Mm -hmm. After the story actually picked up was in the final boss. And that was just because I did some wrong inputs. <laughs> was it because you were in the underwater section? I think so. <laughs> a lot of people die there because they're like, oh no, underwater controls. Uh, I don't think I died. No, it wasn't in the underwater. It was right after underwater, but I really liked the underwater controls. Oh, you were the, the flying fight. Because you yeah. fight him technically in like the ground, and then you go underwater, and then he's flying. Yeah, and he like, I don't know, I just didn't heal, and he like immediately hit me, and I died from yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I uh, I don't think I died during the at least in proud, I didn't die during any of the end part of the game. Uh, but it's kind of interesting when you do die. Yeah. There's there's an extra scene if you do die. Oh yeah, like, because they have the... the thing. I will say this, uh, you know, like, in the first stage against... in Scala Ad Kalum, the first fight against the 13th... Oh, I wish, I wish that was more than it was. I'm upset that they all shared the same HP pool. Yeah, because that's why I, I was like, I killed I them really cool. fast. I killed them faster than they could do their, um... desperation attack. I got to see the death. I didn't. Inspiration attacks. I had to watch but that, that after I beat the game. Cause you that talked because about it and then I watched it and I was like, that's fucking rad. Why didn't I get to experience this? But yeah, I, I just wish that they didn't all share the same HP pool or it was that, m or that it was much larger. Oh look, we're in the new city. Look, we have to go to the Bracer Guild. Look, it's a hot chick. Oh yeah, Jesus. nothing. Nothing happened important yet. We we helped I've, Tita change a light bulb because it takes three idiots to do so. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> That's exactly what just happened. You can't tell me that didn't just happen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm excited for the DLC though, because man, they're adding new content and new story. I, I can see why you might be upset about the ending for Kingdom Hearts 3, but like, I, I like that because they kept no. telling Sora, if you keep doing this, you're gonna fucking ruin yourself because you shouldn't be keep, you shouldn't be doing this because bad things are gonna happen. And, and Sora's like, anyway. no, I'm not gonna listen to you, you're a bad guy. And then that's exactly what happened. Yeah, no, I, I, like, I liked it, but at the same time I didn't like... You don't like Shibuya? My issue... You don't like Naku Sakuraba? My issue was with the whole ending with, um... Every other character that wasn't Sora? What the f- uh, Xehanort. Oh, well, they, <laughs> they, the idea was that not that he was a good guy, but the idea was that... He got forgiveness at the end. Yeah, he was forgiven a little bit. Despite ruining the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. A millions of people? Millions? There are a lot of heartless. Billions? There are a lot of heartless nobodies. <laughs> <laughs> like, billions? <laughs> like, he destroyed whole worlds. True, that was only Kingdom Hearts 1, though. And multiple, multiple... Timelines. Timelines. Because those exist now. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Dream Job Distance. <laughs> so... I'm just gonna say, he did a lot of bad shit. <laughs> he did. I, I do like the idea that he wasn't doing it because he was purely evil. That, like, his reason no. was, like, oh man, my, my goal was to reset the world to get rid of all light and darkness. And because the I'm issue... gonna do that, it doesn't matter what I do. 
So the idea was since I'm going to reset the world, it doesn't matter if I am it and bathe myself in darkness because I'm just gonna reset. Yeah. And I no, was like, that's pretty I, cool. I liked it and hated it at the same time. Yeah, same. Yeah. I don't you know like I mean? how he got away scot free with it, but I do like the motivation behind it because we never really got to know why he was doing this besides he was just like, haha, darkness. I like that yeah. there's an actual reason behind it rather than just laughing about darkness. Yeah. Um, so that was Kingdom Hearts 3. <clears throat> yep. So, some other games came out. <laughs> Yo, Fire Emblem? I, I, I wasn't gonna get there yet. No. Oh. Um, so yesterday, Borderlands came out. And I'm not gonna get it, yay! Um, it has... And I need to talk about these issues. So, did you get it on the PlayStation? Yeah. Yeah, I, I I don't have my PS4 with me, and everyone I know who does want to get Borderlands 3 is probably going to get it on PC. Because the only it's... other people who I knew were probably going to get it was Paul, and I wasn't sure if you would get it. But you also don't have online. Um, I I'm also don't have online. Not anymore, at least. I'm tempted to get it, but it depends on if you guys get it or something like that. It I probably is... wouldn't get it on the PS4, because I think that would only just be you. But I'm not yeah. going to get it now at least, because the yeah. only way to buy it is via the Epic Game Store. Oh shit, you weren't here for that, were you? What? Do you know what the Epic Game Store is? No. So, you know Fortnite? Oh yeah? You know how it's created by Epic Games? Sure. They created their own version of Steam. And in uh order to get games, in order for people to put their games to sell, on the Epic Game Store, they said, what if we pay the money to, for exclusivity? Meaning, they paid um, Gearbox in 2K, I think, a shit ton of money to put Borderlands 3 exclusive on the Epic Game Store instead of putting it on Steam. So Borderlands 3 is not on Steam, Despite the fact that every other Borderlands game is on Steam. Well, I, I hope Gearbox got paid a lot of money. Because uh, they're going to lose a lot of sales for that shit. Yeah, because here's the thing. A lot of people got mad. And it's not just Borderlands 3. It's like a bunch of games they did that for. Yeah. Um... And uh, I'm, I'm not going to blame Gearbox for that. Because if someone was like, here's like $100,000 or and I made a shitty game and we put it exclusively on uh, Epic Games instead of Steam for PC release. I would take that. But I will say this, that's a, that's a very scummy business method that they're doing. So, anyways, let me um complain about Borderlands, Borderlands 3. 3. Go for it. It lacks. Uh-oh. Yeah, it doesn't it have to like upload? No, wait, that's only for streaming the game. Oh, Never mind. And then it, it occasionally it has to, to take to load all of the textures. Nice. I feel like I'm playing Borderlands 2 again. Nice. That's my favorite part of Borderlands 2 when the game doesn't load. Um, there are parts where it will just take control of my. And just do random shit. <laughs> Are you sure you're the one who's playing? Yes. Um. I also have some issue with some of the weapons. Like, the Maliwan weapons uh -oh. are complete ass. And oh. they used to be my favorite weapon. Oh no. Be So, they added a charge feature to these weapons. What? So you have to hold the trigger down for like two seconds before it starts firing. Oh. And then it only fires for as long as you hold the trigger. Oh. That and then you have to recharge it. Unfortunately, Molly Wan is the one with all the elemental weapons. Yeah, that's usually the case, isn't it? And I'm playing a I'm playing the siren, obviously, because I always do. But the I siren the way I'm playing this siren is based off of element. Yeah, I uh, 
<laughs> I, I always choose the character I think is the coolest. And so far, that is always accidentally end up being the sniper. Despite me really ha hating sniping in every video game ever. So, um, so in, I'm, in this uh, game, it looks like the Beastmaster has the coolest shit, but... Yeah, the Beastmaster is like what everyone seems to be wanting to play, including me. But, but I re I'm really enjoying the He also looks like to be a sniper, and I got mad again. Um, actually, I think this is supposed to be... Well, the Beastmaster does have, like, a... Uh, I mean, in the trailers it, it, um, and stuff, he, he and, like, all the, like, promo, promo videos, he's always holding a sniper. Um, but I would argue that, um, the old man is also a sniper. He's yeah. kind of like a Zero character. Yeah, I can, yeah he, he does look like a Zero character, but it looked like to uh, me he was using assault rifles and stuff more, at least in the trailers. Um, but yeah, uh, I have some complaints about it. Um, the world kind of feels barren. Like, I feel like I'm very far in between battles. Oh. Um, now, and then another thing they've done, I don't know if this is for or not, but they've made it where you go to other planets. Yeah, that was the thing they, uh, they said in trailers. Um, I don't mind that, but I am kind of upset that everything isn't just on Pandora, but it makes sense with like the ending I, of Borderlands 2. Like, I'm kind of happy they've done that, because now it's not all on Pandora, and it's always just a desert. Well, that's what um, they changed with uh, Borderlands 2, right? They were like, here's a grassy area, here's a snowy area. Yeah. Um, however, it makes the world smaller. Yeah, I, I had a feeling that was going to happen. <laughs> and so it has this weird, it feels small and yet large at the same time, and it's annoying. Yeah. Like, it's not like the pirate world where it feels Too big. good to be large. Yeah. You know what I mean? It feels annoying to be small yeah. and large. Because they, they can't just make everything because what was cool about at least borderlands 2 was that like you could walk from any area of the game to another area of the game but for three you probably can't do that you probably have to go to the ship and then choose yeah. which planet you want to go to and um they did a thing um so you know the fast travel option yeah so anyways when you get to the ship the first time you go to another planet you have to use a drop ship yeah. And then every time after that, you don't. Oh. You have to go to the fast travel station. Yeah. And I spent about an hour trying to figure this out because you, oh, you have to go you, to the fast travel. You had to keep doing the drop ship. You have to. You have to go to the fast travel station. You have to then press a button to go to the global map, and then go to the galactic map, and then you can choose which planet you want to go to. Uh, I'm not gonna be playing that game for a while just because I can't because it's not that I don't want to get it on Epic Game Store I just rather not get it on Epic Game Store so yeah. you want to know what's the biggest thing it's not a lot of people hate it and some people are saying oh don't complain that there's a competitor for Steam because Steam has like a monopoly and blah 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 and I'm like Monop yeah but that's not why people are complaining so you know how like Steam has like the workshop profile pages, community tabs, group chats, and like yeah. mod support. Like even if they have Monopoly, they do it in a good way. Yeah, like, so, like, they do it. They do it nicely in the fact that they they even have the uh, like online like Steam Monopoly. store. But like you know what I'm saying, right? Like it has all this cool content. Yeah. So uh, Epic Game Store doesn't have any of that, and because it's fairly new, because it's like last six months new because while you were gone it didn't because when you were here it didn't exist and only existed after you left yeah so they promised that they would be adding all that forum type shit like all the workshops and community and they have announced maybe like a month or two ago 
that they're postponing that. Meaning they're no longer working on that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. And here's yeah. the thing. Uh, what's worse? You know Shenmue 3? Shenmue. Uh, Shenmue 3. You know, like Shenmue? Yeah, sure. It, it just really old Japanese game that people are sort of excited for. Well, Shenmue 2 was an old Japanese game. The third one is new, and people are excited for it. So anyways, uh... They had a Kickstarter because, you know, companies died or whatever. And so the Kickstarter was like, haha, we'll make it and we'll put it on Steam. And they got enough money and they said they're going to put it on Steam. It's now exclusive to Epic Game Store. Because Epic Games gave them enough money for exclusivity on their store. So Shenmue 3 has no current plans to be releasing on Steam. Despite the fact that they originally said they were going to be putting it on Steam. So, what you're saying is... I people didn't like the fact that Steam was a monopoly, but at least Steam... Doesn't buy out its competitors. Doesn't buy out your competitors, but they're like, Hey, port your stuff to Steam so that we can sell it to uh, more apparently, people. Apparently, uh, I, I heard the Epic Game Store takes a less big cut out of selling the games. So like, let's say Steam gets ten dollars from each game sold if it's sixty. Apparently, like Epic Game Store gets less of that, so they get like maybe eight dollars or something stupid, which is nice. That means the creators get more money. But rather than that, like I think but it's kind of a scummy business money. tactic to just buy out competitors like that. Yeah, because I don't blame the people for taking the money because I would do that because it's like. Fuck yeah, why would I not take more money? But I'm not going to say that it's not scummy, because it clearly is. Oh yeah, it, it is, because like... <sighs> it, it's just like a scummy like, method. It's like, yeah, it, we'll pay you for exclusivity. But a lot of people are mad at Shenmue 3 devs because they have no plans for Steam, despite the Kickstarter saying it was. And some people yeah. are like, is there any way I can refund my money because I'm not going to buy it on K Epic Games if that's the case. And so that's happened a lot for multiple games. And Steam has actually issued a change in plans for like their privacy options for selling games on their uh, content. Because what? Because Epic Game Store only has the ability to purchase shit. You don't have any of the cool forums and community and workshop stuff that Steam does. Yeah. And so people would. Some have done this where they would put the game on Steam as a forum saying we're working on this game in Steam we're gonna release it on Steam here's and then they build up a small community from Steam for this game people supporting it people pledging for Kickstarter and they're using and the then forums. it goes to a different yeah and then so they're using all this Steam forum and community shit to promote their game and then Epic Games is like here's a hundred thousand dollars put your game on Epic Game Store a month before it goes on Steam and uh, they've done that enough times that at this point in time, the creators of Steam had to revitalize and change their terms of services and stuff. That if you're going to make a game and it is part of Steam using your forms and your com in the Steam forms and the Steam community and the Steam workshop. It has to go up on Steam? It has to go up on Steam at least at the same time if it were to go up on any other PC release. So I they're not saying that you bad. can't put it on Epic Game Store. They're just saying if you're going to put it on Epic Game Store, it has to come out at least at the same day as that does. So no but they're like basically saying if you're building a fan base on Steam, yeah. Actually make it so that it the release up. comes on Steam so and, that and it's that, not fucking exp Yeah. Like in the idea you're that You're not using like, our service to build up a Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> they're like you're not going to use our service and then not sell your game on our service after you used yeah. it for like multiple years because you just said someone paid you 200 grand so they changed their terms of services so if you are going to put it on another pc uh selling platform like epic game store you can't do it a month earlier on there than you would on steam you would have to release yeah. it both on that store and on steam at the same time and I think that's the correct move to make. 
Yeah. Because it's not, they're saying that you can't put it on Epic Game Store. They're not saying you can't do that. They're saying you can, just don't do it a month earlier because that's a very scummy tactic. And that's a, that's just stupid. Yeah. And a lot of people were like, when they saw that they changed their terms of services for that, a lot of people were like, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. No, There was like no backlash or nothing because people like saw what was happening and they're like, that's a good move on Steam. They're not being assholes by saying that? you can't put it on another like store, but it's like this is fine. And I think that's that's the best thing they could do. But man, does Epic Game Store seem just so fucking scummy now? Oh yeah, pieces of shit. Yeah, that's kind of why I don't want to get Borderlands Three. Also because a lot mm. of my friends were like, I don't have Epic Game Store and I don't want to download it, so I just won't. I'll just wait for three or six months when they put Borderlands 3 on Steam. Yeah. And so, since none of my friends are really getting it now, that's why I'm not getting it now. Fair enough. So... I yeah. ended up getting it. it it's the story... I it's mean, a Borderlands game. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's it just has the same cringy writing as it always has. Look, I'm just... I'm just I... running around looting, that's all I give a shit about. Oh, you weren't here for the amazing <laughs> bit that they did. So, when they were first revealing Borderlands 3, they had an event where they invited a bunch of internet influencers, like ourselves, but you know, more popular ones. <laughs> 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 like Rooster Teeth and shit like that, and like other YouTubers and streamers, like Ninja maybe. They invited them to an event where they showcased all this content, right? And, uh... You know the main villains of Borderlands 3? Yeah. You know how they're just really shitty douche-tubers? Yeah. I, I could not help but see the irony of them inviting a bunch of YouTubers and streamers and then them talking about how how the main villain of Borderlands 3 is just a giant douche tuber and I was like I wish I could see the faces of every YouTuber and streamer in that room because holy shit <laughs> I was like, you can't just own this many people in a single room at a single time. <laughs> hey, by the way, subliminal message, you're all douches. The, the idea was like, you guys know they're douche tubers. They're not you, but you know who we're talking about. Hit, hit, nudge, nudge. So it was like, they acknowledged the people in those room weren't those people. But they were acknowledging that the ones that weren't there <laughs> were those. <laughs> it was such a fun, like, I was like, this is like super awkward. And I just thought it was the funniest and most entertaining thing ever. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Borderlands 3 with the biggest dick out here owning all of the internet influences on YouTube and Twitch. Now I do gotta say, they did add some great things in Borderlands 3. Guns with legs? I haven't gotten that yet. No. They've added, like, weapons with two modes. Oh, oh yeah. So, so like, the Molly One weapons <laughs> will have two different elementals. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that. Um, Where, like, you have, like, an alt fire or something for each weapon or something. I have an assault rifle that has a four round burst and the full auto. Yeah. And it changes to zoom depending on which mode you're in. What the fuck's happening in the game? <laughs> um, stuff. Uh. <clears throat> so that flag, that black orb yeah. you got from your father, you're like, what is this? And you're trying to figure it out. And we're trying to open that, it up. That's all I really. I think that's really all that's going on in the story. Yeah. I think right now you're doing a side quest to get fuel and stuff. Oh yeah, because we need the fuel all the... to the power of the science thingamabob for the the scientist guy. So he can yeah. open up the black orb thing. Yeah. By the way, this is the chapter that has Plot? dumb time. That has really dumb... Side quests? Side quests that have time restraints that are like... Remember, hey, we already said we're not going to do those because we missed 20 of them because we looked away for 5 minutes. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that that's partially why I hate this game because the time restraints are really bad. It's like, oh man, talk to Peter at the flower store. Okay. I talk to Peter. Okay, Peter says to go talk to Jeffrey. To a person right across right the street. We can see him. <laughs> and as soon as you talk to Jeffrey, you miss 20 quests. Because yeah. 20 quests activated when you talk to Peter. <laughs> and if you talk to Jeffrey, who's right across the road from him, who's right across the road from him, you miss 20 quests because time restraints are stupid and bad gameplay design. It's cool design, and I like the idea behind it. But that doesn't it gets, mean it's good gameplay. It gets better later in the series when you can actually see the changes of time. <laughs> yeah, it gets better in the later series where they decided, what if we made a better game? Yeah. Because yeah. this is Basically. terrible. <clears throat> yeah. Um, on another game note, Astral Chain came out. I have yet to get that, and I want to. I can't wait to it get it when it's on sale one day. It's a really good platinum game but that since, has really good I, gameplay yeah. and really annoys the crap out of me certain things like so, the jumping mechanic. Jump. Is dumb. So the only reason and I haven't really gotten funky. that is because I'd rather focus on trying to get a job because you know Ripperino Masters degree -o. Yeah. So I'm going to be like I'll get a job and then I'll buy it most likely. And as soon as I get a job, you know what else I'm probably gonna do? Probably play Final Fantasy XIV, because then I'd have money. Oh yeah, I haven't done that in a while. I mean, I I haven't touched it ever. Yeah, it's probably they touched it again. They added the bunny girls! Dude, they added bunny girls. They added the dancer class. I'm excited. I just want to play it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna create two characters. A boring male, because I always do that as a bit, and then... Bunny Girl, because why would I not create Bunny Girl? No, I'm excited. They added a dancer class. Yeah, that too. They added another healer. Oh, oh, speaking of MMOs. Oh, what happened to the video? Okay. I, thought, I, I, I know we're nearing the end of this, at least, because yeah, we're in this chapter. Yeah, we're almost done. <clears throat> oh, is that it? Is that actually it? No way. Is that it? <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> yeah, it just went black! That has to be it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, uh, I guess I won't finish the MMO story until we start playing the game. Oh shit. Oh. Hey, well, um, that was like keep this in the video. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Shit, dude, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> as soon as I'm like, oh, are we done? Man. <laughs> Well, everyone, I, I hope you like our podcast of <laughs> random everything. <laughs> and now we're gonna we're gonna play this game. Wow, I didn't expect it to end so abruptly like that. No, me neither. I kind of expected at least a save screen or. It probably happened, but it was way too fast. Ah. Huh. Well, at least now we don't have to redo three hours of content. Well, well, let's make sure. Should we should we should stop recording this and check if it is <laughs> correct? Okay, everyone, we'll be most likely back with us playing the game next time, rather than just talking about random shit with the game going on in the background. I mean, we're still going to be talking about random shit with the game talking. <laughs> yeah, but this time we'll be actively playing the game, so we'll pay more attention than we did this time. We should do all our videos like this. <laughs> just record everything pre previous of this and just upload hours of us just unedited bullshit of whatever we give a shit about. <laughs> this is the real Let's Play experience. Okay, everyone. Don't some people actually do this? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think that was Leafy is here or something where he just talks about shit and then puts video game content in the background. And then people realized he was unentertaining and then he lost all of his subscribers oh we should be careful but don't worry people didn't like him because uh he was a bully and he would say the same five words all the time but we don't do that we only do it sometimes <laughs> anyways we'll be right back everyone